Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. This is episode two of a series of videos that I've started doing on my channel. Um, I'm learning mountain bike trials and as I learn something new, I'm showing you guys. So welcome back subscribers, welcome to the new subscribers. The channel is going lovely. Thank you very much for your support and your comments are very valuable at this stage as I am learning. So any input, um, any way you think I can do something a little bit better, please just comment below, smash the thumbs up button, and let's get on with it. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at the front wheel lift, the manual front wheel lift that is, and the manual rear wheel lift. When you combine the two, you end up with what's called the bunny hop, or what I would call the bunny hop back in my day. I don't know what it's called now, it's probably just a hop we'll go with the bunny hop. So the manual front wheel lift is pretty much what it is, what it says it is, manual front wheel lift. You're going to manually lift the front wheel. It's almost like a manual um, where you stay on the back wheel for a long period of time and do your manuals. But this is just helping you to learn how to do the bunny hop. So we're going to run through this in a couple of steps to start with, we're not just going to try and lift it up in the air. It will work that way, but you want to be able to um, control it slightly. So, first bet is you're going to want to get your pedals nice and flat. So, if I ever refer to pedals being flat, this is kind of what I mean. So the pedals are flat with your frame, nice and flat. They're not like that, they're flat. So you want to get your pedals flat. Once your pedals are flat, there's two movements you're going to make. You're going to make one forwards, so you're going to sort of compress your arms like shock absorbers, and then you're going to make a second one where you actually lean back, okay? And you want to try and lift the bike up from the front end. Now these trials bikes are pretty light compared to your normal everyday mountain bikes, so don't be too aggressive you don't want to come off the back end. In saying that, make sure you're covering your back brake so if you are going too far back, you can tweak your back brake and your front end will drop. So let's take a look at that and then we'll break it down into slow-mo and I'll talk you through it. As you compress your arms, lean forward slightly, straighten your arms and lean backwards slightly, lifting the bars towards you, remembering to cover the back brake just in case you go a little bit too far. So the next one we're going to look at is the manual rear wheel lift. Now it's slightly different obviously because it's the rear end and you're having to generate a lot of the lift from your feet. Okay, so you're going to need to have your pedals flat and again, that's your pedals flat. You're going to be off the seat and you're almost going to want to hang over the front of the bike. Okay, and whilst tucking your feet you're almost going to tuck your foot down to lift the back of the wheel up. Okay, so you're going to go down, jump up, and you're going to try and lift it up. So again, like the front wheel lift, I'll run through it, we'll slow it down, and I'll talk you through it. Okay, happy days. Now, although this is... Um, beginning of perhaps the bunny hop where you lift the front and then you push to level the bike out and you lift the back end up all in sort of one quick motion. Um, don't worry we'll look at that at some point. You can use this on the trail or anywhere when you're riding your bike to be fair. So I'm just going to show you how you can use this with just one of these white lines on the floor. As I approach it I'm going to do the front wheel lift. When I notice that my front wheel is over I'm then going to do the rear wheel lift. So as if you're going over a tree stump or um, a branch or something in the trail, a puddle perhaps, you can do this, you can look a little bit more stylish. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. This is Tom, this is T-Dubs and this was Trials Episode 2. Episode 3 is coming up soon. And that will be the bunny hop once I've 
learned how to do it a little bit better than what I can do at the moment. And I'll be able to talk you through that one too. And then hopefully we can start looking at some proper trials moves really. So I'm getting up objects, I'm getting down objects. Um, quite the fact there's a wall behind me but I have no idea how to get off it. So I'm not going to bother with that. Um, but yeah, comment below. Shout out to everyone that subscribed recently. Thank you very much. And for those of you who are still subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. See you all soon. Thank you.